Hello and welcome to this channel and if you are the first time here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button to see the latest technology videos. In this video we are discussing about Java server pages, JSP actions. So the JSP include action. This action lets you insert files into the page being generated. The syntax looks like JSP include page relative URL plus equal to true. So unlike the include directive which inserts the file at the time the JSP page is translated into a server, this action inserts the file at the time at the page is requested. So attribute and description, page relative URL of the page to be included, flush, the boolean attribute determines whether the included resource has its buffer flushed before it is included. Then. So let us define the two dates date.jsp and main.jsp. So today's date new java.util.date to local string. HTML head title include action example title head body center then include action example jsp include page date.jsp flush equal to true sender body HTML. Then jsp use bean action. The use bean action is quite versatile. It first searches for an existing object utilizing the id and scope variables and if an object is not found, it then tries to create the specified object. Simplest way to load a bean is JSP use bean id name class package dot class. And once a bean class is loaded, you can use JSP set property and JSP get property actions to modify and retrieve the bean properties. An attribute and description class that designates the full package name of the bean. Type specifies the type of the variable that will refer to the object. Bean name gives the name of the bean as specified by the instantiate method of the java.beans.beans class. So now discuss JSP set property and JSP get property actions before giving a valid example. JSP set property action. The set property action sets the properties of a bean and the bean must have been previously defined before this action. There are two basic ways to use this set property action. You can use JSP set property after but outside of a JSP use bean element. JSP use bean id my name JSP set property name my name property equal to some property. In this case, JSB set property is executed regardless of whether a new bean was instantiated or an existing bean was found. A second context in which JSP set property can appear is inside the body of a JSP use bean element. JSP use bean id my name JSP set property name equal to my name property equal to some property and JSP use bean. Here the JSP set property is executed only if a new object was instantiated not if an existing one was found. So attributes associated with the set property action, attribute and a description. Name designates the bean, the property of which it will be set, the bean must have been previously defined. Property indicates the property you want to set a value of, means that all request parameters whose names match bean property names will be passed to the appropriate setter methods. Value that is uh, is to be assigned to the given property and the, the parameter's value is null or the parameter does not exist, set property action is signal. The param attribute is the name of the request parameter whose value of the property is to receive and you can't use both value and param but it is permissible to use neither. So this was a brief discussion on Java server pages and we will be discussing more on Java in the upcoming videos and if you are the first time here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button to see the latest technology videos thank you for watching this video bye for now